I've always worked in finance. I was sort of in between jobs um, and looking for something new. So I was good friends with Ryan at the time, and he said, "Well, I tell you what, why don't you, uh, why don't you come out with me and try it out, see what you think." So he let me uh, let me sign his kit, and uh, I went out, did a few of the clubs with him. Elliot struck gold in his very first month, when a run-in with Wayne Rooney made major news. He came out, started throwing some abuse at me, told me to get lost and use uh, some expletives, shall we say. Um, and then she gave me a bit of a mouthful. And anyway, I thought, OK, not a great situation. Now as I actually turn my back, um, he spat at me on my back turned. So I had a nice load of Wayne Rooney's gob land on my, on my neck and my face, neck and back, which wasn't too pleasing for me, but um, the joys of a job, I suppose. It turned out, because of the story, to be quite a big, a big hit. Um, I mean, we sold it exclusively to a newspaper and a magazine, um, but we did really well on it. In fact, it sold for 30,000, and a formerly unemployed Elliot netted a cool six grand. But what price principles? At the end of the day, it's a business, and I'm here to make money. So I'll take a picture of anyone or anything if I know I can make money on it. Paris, 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 just your, Paris, just your left. The only trouble is, lately Elliot's not been making money. Paris, to your left, to your left, Paris. He needs an easy target, and no one's easier than Paris Hilton. Paris again to your left, that's it, darling. But only pin sharp, full length images make the grade. Paris behind you. Right, it's showtime. We're desperate to get frames of her. It's like she does sell. Shit. You got me. Move! Move! Shit. With Paris's pictures going for £250 a pop, Elliot's determined to stay in the hunt. Oh, brilliant, we've caught back up with it. That is fucking good news. Oh, I'm right. They're in the black one. I believe they've got security car behind it. Don't go straight, don't go straight, yes. I think they're going to go to the Hilton, perhaps. No, Cipriani's, perhaps. I oh, know she's turning left. Paris, Paris, Paris. Paris, is right here. Paris. Paris just behind you, please. Paris. Just your Paris. Not ideal shot size. No picture editor is going to choose Elliot's shots when Paris is looking at someone else's camera. All right, mate. All right. Paris. Paris, just here, please. He's not sold a picture for days and is elbowed out again. Fight over it. Thanks for your help, Pratt. Fuck off. And you, asshole. Nineteen-year-old Craig Ross prefers to avoid the pap scrums. He's a lone marksman who specialises in long lens shots. I think she's staying either in a private house 
or in a hotel. Today, he's tracking Hollywood actress Kate Hudson. Where have you gone, Kate Hudson? Avoiding the usual haunts means a lower hit rate. But when he does get lucky, exclusives make more than four times as much. Oh, there she is. How did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. Oh, I reckon I, because I photographed her the other day at the airport, and see the bird that's with her, she got right in my face, and that's who I recognise, not Kate Hudson, the bird she was with. Craig's got his pictures, and Kate Hudson doesn't know a thing about it. Good fashion picture, if anything. The magazines pick up more on fashion pictures than newspapers. So you'd expect this one to sell pretty well, then? Um, I'd hope it would, but these days you take a great set of pictures and it'll never see the light of day. But sometimes you take a set of pictures that you don't think will make, and it does. You just have to keep your fingers crossed, basically. Craig's learnt fast, since starting the job at 17. When I used to be at school, I probably wouldn't even go up to someone and ask them for directions where something was or anything like that. So it's definitely changed me. Because obviously, I have to jump out in front of people and take the picture or stand on the corner and take the picture sort of thing. And um, I don't think, if I was still how I used to be, I don't think I'd ever take a set of pictures ever, probably. This is the car that she's getting in and out of. He now spends his days cruising upmarket neighbourhoods and tailing luxury motors. There's one person outside that I saw getting in the news. OK, there's another person that's on. Each sighting and surreptitious follow fattens his dossier of celebs' addresses, vehicles and routines. Pretty sure she's in there. I think to the left. but perhaps have even more reliable shortcuts to zero in on their targets. Ryan is on his way to meet a tipper. We like to aim for kind of exclusive, exclusive pictures, exclusive jobs, you know. They're not easy to get, as you can imagine. Um, there's usually, you know, 40, 50 people there at a time when someone's there, when a, when a major celeb's there, and you're fighting with all of them. So basically, anywhere where we think celebrities might go quite often, we try and get a person, or maybe more than one person, uh, to basically call us every time there's a celebrity turning up, booked in, arrived, about to leave, anything like that. And in return, we obviously, um, we supply them with a payment. And they can potentially earn a serious amount of money for just picking up their phone. Um, and that's, you know, that's the way we put it across. You know, they, they can earn you know, they can near enough almost double their wages, you know. Tippers typically receive 10% of the picture's sale price. Ryan has a network of over 40 in the media and at top restaurants, hotels and clubs. Yeah, some people may say it's you know, a bit sneaky, but at the end of the day, you know, they're celebrities. That's what, you know, that's what their job is, you know. They're there to be pictured and, you know, publicised. That's, that's, that's part of the job they entice when they when they become a celebrity, so... Of course, tipping is a sackable offence. Ryan's tipper won't even work on the phone, much less show his face to anybody's camera. Yeah, good, yeah? Cool, man, yeah. The MTV Awards are coming up soon, and there's been rumours that Britney Spears is supposed to be coming over. We've got some people down there working on those at the moment, uh, so any details that do come through. We can just let you know. I appreciate that. You're on this strictly as usual confidential. 